Hello and welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures. Way, way, it's day number five here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Another absolutely beautiful day, isn't oh, it? Look at the sea. The colour of it is so beautiful. And today we're here in Grand Turk, oh, aren't we? Really looking forward to it. You might be thinking, why have I got a towel wrapped around me? Because I burnt yesterday. I'm trying to protect my shoulders. Why do you not just put a t-shirt on? I didn't want to be too hot, so I just put this on. <laughs> so she wrapped a towel around her instead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it today. Of course, we're going to be getting uh, off the ship shortly. We actually pulled in from 7 o'clock. Um, we've just gone 9.30. We've just been for breakfast again. But before we do, I just want to show you something, <laughs> what they've done just down here on the deck, because it's absolutely fantastic. They've made loads of towel animals everywhere today. So lovely. Look at this. Literally every sun lounger has got Aww. different animals on. How awesome are these? A little penguin just there. I love that. Oh, all the way across. Like Someone's been very busy throughout the night. All the way around, all down here next to the pool as well. Look at this. Wow, wow. absolutely amazing. Dolphin just there. And there's actually a big elephant just down here too. You got the dog kennel. with the dogs in wearing sunglasses that's down there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and this big elephant that's made up of multiple different towels. How fantastic is that? Oh, it's all these little touches that. that are amazing. You got like turtles on the side of the swimming pool. Like, how amazing is that all the way around? Like, that is awesome. There's literally hundreds of them all on the tables. They're on the bar just over there as well. Little birds just here. How cool is that? Oh. And we made our way down to deck three. And of course, welcome to our final stop aboard Mardi Gras. Here we are in Grand Turk. And yeah, just walk along the bridge just here. And of course, we're right in the heart of the action, straight onto the beach just here. And yeah, Carnival Freedom that we saw yesterday is parked up right next to us again, just over here as well. Look at this, beautiful. What I've loved about the three ports is how you straight into the action, no messing about, which is fantastic. Oh, look at this. The water is so clear. Absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to get in there. Got my swim shorts on. And as you can see from the flag, this is actually a British overseas territory just here as well. And look at the beach. It is beautiful. It really is. All the palm trees as well. And look at that water, Charlotte. The water looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Wow. I never And of course, to get down to the beach, you have to come through the duty-free shop just over here. And yeah, I'm sure there's a few other shops to look around here as well. I'm sure there's also going to be a few free gifts, is there? Oh, of course, I've got. Hey, <laughs> not as many here, I don't think, no, is there? Just what, what, one or two free gifts? Two free gifts. Oh, I'll look around. Yeah, big duty-free shop just over here. Well, of the three ports that we've been to on board Mardi Gras, this is certainly the one that's closest to the ship. It's literally right there, about a two minute walk, which is fantastic, which isn't is it? Which great, because if you need to just pop back on, you use it to get back on. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to get lunch back on there today yeah, as well, well, with it being right here, may as well. And yeah, have got loads of different shops to look around here. More shops than I was expecting, and that's the key to all three of these, actually, that we've been to. There's been more to look around than I thought there was going to be, especially with there being a massive emphasis on excursions and kind of taking you away from the port areas. I thought, oh, is that because there's not really much to see and do? Uh, but no, there's loads right here, just a short walk off the ship without spending anything extra, uh, which is fantastic. And yeah, the beach looks really nice. We've got some more free gifts then, haven't yeah, we? Diamonds Let's go. I <laughs> rolled the red carpet out for you. Oh, yes. oh, this is a popular one. The Ron John Surf Shop just over there. Right opposite. I've got my bracelet. I should have got a charm with it, but the lady only gave me a bracelet. But I can't moan because it was free. Exactly. Mm. That's the thing. We've got another gift shop, the Caribbean Outpost. Yes. Just over here as well. Very nice. Let's have a look in here. This looks pretty good. Quite an impressive t-shirt collection on sale over here as well. And this is quite an interesting idea. They wrap the t-shirt up in the cap just there. So you get it as like a bundle. <laughs> it's quite good. Never seen that done before. Look at this impressive selection of fridge magnets just over here. It covers the whole wall. So many just here. Good prices as well. $5 each or 5 for $20. Yeah, not too bad at all. Little seahorse ones. And here we go. Your final free gift of the cruise just there. It's and a it, cruise. Hey, that's quite a nice little one, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It was supposed to be a stingray pendant, but that's quite nice. I like that one. Yeah, it's a cruise little memory yeah. of the trip just over there. Yeah, lots 
of shops to walk around. Like there's more shops here than there was yesterday, I think. Like it goes all the way down that way. All down here as well. Lots to walk around. Harley Davidson. Over there, another popular shop. Yeah, they're really well finished off, these places. Like I said, they kind of remind me of like an outlet village, walking around seeing all the shops, but you can get some really kind of personalized and quirky gifts in a lot of these as well, which is nice. Like your handcrafted wooden things, and yeah, it's just very nice. Look looking that one. Woo! Hey! <laughs> and this is the area where you can leave the kind of official port area and get taxis, and I imagine a lot of the excursions go from this area down here as well. Yeah, there wasn't much in that shop just. This one looks interesting though, unique souvenirs. Oh, I love all the palm trees, look at that. Beautiful, and the ships are right there. Oh, look at this in here. Stuff everywhere. So much colour. There's a shop over here called the Dizzy Donkey. So we're going here. We've seen a lot of like donkey things so far, haven't we, in Grand Turk? Yeah, Ted. I hope we see a donkey. I reckon so. Might be the will be on the beach, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Oh, it is lovely around here. Again, I do like all the building style. Margaritaville, just over there too. And literally the beach is right there. And yeah, I believe there's a swimming pool just around this corner as well. Let's have a little walk down the beach area over here, shall we? I love how the shopping is literally right behind the beach. And then you'd be straight down here. There's a Starbucks that we've just seen as well. Look at this. Oh, this is lovely. Beach rentals just over there. Where's the donkey? I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to find them. Oh, this is nice. Lots of shade down here. A little bit cooler as well. She's got lots of beach bars all down the front. Oh, this is really nice. Place to get cocktails and food. Pass out in my hammock. <laughs> wow. This is definitely the most beautiful of the three places we've been to because it's just got everything here. Oh, this is incredible. Like a little boardwalk all along the front. And what makes it as well is seeing the ships just over there, so. Wow, what a place. All the sun lounges over here. And then you got a swimming pool over here as well. Oh, how amazing is this? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's stunning. What a tune. And you've got the best of both worlds here because you've also got a huge pool area that you can use as well. Look at this. Amazing. All the way over this side as well. Loads of loungers. Just noticed they've also got a flow rider over there as well where, of course, you go onto a surfboard. It's not open at the moment, but maybe it will be later on. I'm not too sure. So we get in Detroit. Gotta give a shout out to Detroit in the house. Beautiful lady, where you from? <laughs> Alabama in the building. Where you from? Where you from? Florida in the building. Where you from? Texas. Oh, it's beautiful around here. You've also got lots of beach huts over here at the back as well that you can hire. Not too sure on the price of those, but yeah, they often tell you on the cruise on the information section of the app. Or like gas services to give you all the info if you did want to hire these. Very nice. I just love all the palm trees. Beautiful. Yeah, these are very nice and chilled out. And of course, much like yesterday, Amber Cove, the playing games and dance-offs and all that kind of stuff as well. But if you want a bit more of a peaceful experience, causing your head further down on the beach there. The beach looks huge, actually. Spans all the way down this area. It is gorgeous. Oh, I tell you what, it's a hot one today. And Charlotte's really feeling the heat today. So yeah, she's gone for a bit of a chill out in the shade. And yeah, I just thought I could have a little stroll around and show you some more of what Grand Turk has to offer just here. Yeah, we've got downtown Grand Turk on the photos just here. Looks very nice. A little bit of history of the area just over here as well. You know me, I do love my history. World leaders 
insulting. Just over here. Little windmill. Just there too. And yeah, I believe there's a bit of space history just around this corner from looking on the map. So we're going to see that in just a moment. Nice lighthouse just over there. Oh, but yeah, this is beautiful. Colour of the water is so nice. Massage and hair braiding. Yeah, according to the map. Haha, <laughs> here we go. It's just around here, a bit of space history for you all. Let's go kind of have a read. So there's lots of reader material around here and some brilliant posters with lots of photos on as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, what we can see right here is a replica of when John Glenn returned to Earth after his history-making orbit and he splashed down here in the sparkling waters near Grand Turk Island. And yeah, you can see a replica of it just over here. The Friendship 7 capsule. And of course, that was his orbital flight on February the 20th, 1962. Just there, and you can see a photo of it, and here's a replica of, of course, of it splashing down into the water. You've got a rocket just over there as well. Yeah, fascinating. And lots of old photos, which are really nice as well. Oh, but I tell you what, this is definitely the hottest place that we've been to so far. It's like 36 degrees Celsius right now, and it's baking, but you know what? It's so nice. I'm going to jump in the water shortly. Oh, that's a nice view, isn't it? With the cruise ship. This is what, when they say Paradise Island, this really is it. Beached whale. <laughs> wow, that is an incredible shot. I'm going to have to take a photo. Of course, don't forget to give us a follow over on Instagram as well, at Sean Sandbrook. I can see why it said the beach whale just down there now on that palm tree. Little restaurants over here serving local foods. The definition of paradise right here. This is amazing. It's much quieter actually down the beach on this side. Let's have a little walk out here. Oh, that breeze is good. All the rocks. Oh, we've got a massive whale over there. There we go. We're going to see that in just a second. Look how clear the water is. Yeah, it's much busier on the other side of the little jetty. Wow. Of course, Carnival Freedom right next to us over there too. Love the sound of the waves. A little stroll on the beach just here, arrive at the whale. <laughs> what a brilliant boat opportunity, love that. Oh, it's massive. I had no idea how big it was from back there. What a great photo opportunity. There we go, she had a photo. That's it, let's have a stroll over here. Oh, that's brilliant. I like how it's in two parts there as well, coming out of the sun. That's really nice. Yeah, it looks like you can walk for quite a way down here if you want a more peaceful experience. I just think it's quite nice just away from the music. I mean, yesterday we had the DJ and all the music at Amber Cove, which was fantastic. But then sometimes you don't want that, do you? You just want that relaxing sound of all the waves. Just like this. And the great thing is they've got loads of free to use sun loungers all down here too, which is fantastic. I'm gonna stroll back in this direction now. Oh, serenity. We've got an awesome photo opportunity just out the front of Margaritaville. Here as well, I've got the parrot just there with his swimming gear on. Love that, yeah, let's go and have a look inside. I need some AC. It's absolutely boiling. I am literally sweating in places where I've never sweat before. <laughs> yes, I have a pirate pub. There we go. Nice t shirt just in here. Margaritaville. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> That's a good one. This water is absolutely beautiful. The clearest water I've ever seen. And I thought it was clear 
for our first stop of the trip in Nassau, Bahamas. Yeah, this is even clearer here. I cannot wait to jump in there shortly. Beautiful. Then what really makes this as well is seeing the cruise ships right there. Like, fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, strolling down this way because I saw a sign that interested me. It's a Grand Turk local village this way, like local restaurants, arts and craft. Yeah, you see the sign just over there. So I thought I'd have a little stroll down to it. Charlotte's happy just having a bit of a chill out. Bless her, because it is really hot today. And she caught that sun yesterday. I mean, we both did, but I'll be giving my t-shirt on in the water today. Look at this. <laughs> I want one of those. That looks great. Yeah, it's going to see what the local village has to offer. Oh, it says horseback riding. See the sign over there at the back. Humpback whale tour. Yeah, so I'll just stroll down this way, why not? Oh, this place looks like it's got loads of potential. It looks like it's closed down now, but was a bar or a restaurant, a massive pirate ship. All the decking just over there as well. Ah, oh, got loads of potential, especially down here on the beach. Someone's got the drone up there as well, getting some shots. Yeah, I've seen a few drones actually this trip. I know that yesterday at Amber Cove you weren't allowed to use them, but yeah, it must be fine at this one. And there it is. So many sun loungers and umbrellas all the way around. Yeah, I'm not too sure where this local's village is. The beach keeps going down here, but I'm just going to keep walking. Why not? And this is it. Only about a five minute stroll from the sign of the local village. Just over here. Yeah, very different. Got all these kind of wooden shacks and some more local places to get food and drink just down here as well can't see any horseback rides got some restrooms down there at the back rum punch two for ten or two for five how does that work out <laughs> i'll have the two for five <laughs> yeah of course the further you come away from the little jetty that leads over to the ships the quieter it gets a lot more space down here. Lots more seating and sun lounges. All down here, as you can see. A little bit further along. I had no idea that the beach was going to be this long. I just keep on walking. I look how far away the ships are now. But yeah, there's still people all down here. Loads more sun lounges. And also there's a few kind of like pop-up stalls to get drinks and that sort of thing down here as well. Oh, nearly got my trainers soaked then. I've got my Crocs in my bag though, so I'll put them on shortly. But yeah, this is so nice just walking down here and making the most of it. And of course we've got one more vlog coming up, which is a full day at sea. We're going to be doing the adventure golf on the top deck. Going to show you more of the swimming pools, the water park, uh, which is up on the top as well. And of course play golf. So yeah, we've got lots to look forward to in our sixth and final vlog of the series. I'm going to miss it, you know. I've really, really enjoyed coming on this cruise. I think Charlotte's loved it as well. Oh, yeah. there we go. It was going to happen at some point, wasn't it? Soggy trainer. Should have left them on the ship and put my Crocs on. <laughs> and he's really do just want to be away from everything. This is the place to come. Right down here. No music, no stalls, hardly anybody down here. Just really peaceful. And yeah, I'd say it takes about 15 minutes to walk here from the ship. What I'm going to try and do is put my trainers in the bag, slop into my Crocs, and then walk all the way back down through the water. Oh, yes. Oh, this water is so nice. Oh. Beautiful. I'm impressed with my Crocs so far. I really am. They were a good purchase from Nassau. See, I'm just going to stroll back in that direction now and head down that way and of course probably jump back on the ship and get some food I'm sure Charlotte's been having a nice relax as well in the shade <laughs> it's actually really hard to walk there's quite a lot of pressure coming in from these waves. A lady just fell over, but she didn't spill a beer, which I'm pleased about. <laughs> Should have been gutted if she'd spilt that. So oh, here we go. This looks fun. This guy on the boat is about to take these for a bit of a ride on the great big Mabel. 
just over here. <laughs> he's got them all loaded up. And yeah, he's got the mega ducky just over here as well. And the banana boat there. Classic. Here we go. And they're off. That looks good fun. <laughs> I wonder if they're fastened on or not, I couldn't tell. Or maybe that's the fun of it, in case you fall in. Well, they're getting some good airtime on there, by the looks of it. I'm going to probably bounce about, look at that. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be like Charlotte's Nightmare doing that. Absolutely gorgeous this is. And yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about photos. Now, on the ship, you can have professional photos taken, if you'd like to, by photographers. And yeah, I've noticed down here, I've actually got a photographer down in the water, literally just over there, taking photos of people, which I think is fantastic. Then he'd be able to view them back on board the ships. Yeah, it's a really nice little touch. Look at how red I am. I was topping up the sun cream, kept walking round. I had to come back here to the room. Literally, I was lying in bed and Sean came through the door and I was like, what has happened? <laughs> Oh my god, like literally, I've burnt through my top as well. I thought he'd been swimming because his top was so wet. <laughs> literally, it was sweat, like it was that bad. That is the hottest I've ever been out there. It's not doing us any good being that temperature That's out there why today. I'm about to come in. Oh, we're going for lunch on the ship, aren't we now? I need to get an ice cream, maybe a nice cake. Oh, that'd be nice. Just have a bit of a chill out. But yeah, it is absolutely beautiful there. It's, it's so lovely. Hot. But uh, I mean, I was walking around for maybe what about an hour after you came inside. <laughs> it's so red. Uh, and like, yeah, it was it was unbearable out there. It is a beautiful location. It really is, but another day going in the pool there, um, I would have been yeah, really bad heat been, stroke. Yeah. You've got to think of that, only it's lovely, it really is. I'm glad I had a walk all the way down, took it in, showed you it in the video. But yeah, it's I don't so know, hot. yeah, I don't know if we'll get back off the ship or not. To be honest, I'm feeling right now, I think we need to stay indoors. <laughs> Oh, feeling nice and refreshed now, back in the air conditioning. Oh, it's lovely, but what could be better than a kebab at sea? Yeah, hey, you like your kebab, don't you? Yeah, this is nice. There you go, what else you got just down there? Like a pasta, creamy pasta. There we go, and you said the desserts look really good as well. Desserts look good today. We're we'll going to check those out mm. in just a moment. Mm, this is lovely. I've gone to Big Chicken again, that's the good thing, like Big Chicken's literally just outside here on deck 16 as well, so it's ideal. That is well nice. Oh, lovely, back in our favourite spot again just here, we love it. Oh, look at all of his choice. Oreo cheesecake, that looks nice. German chocolate cake. Pink peach cake just over there. That's good. Oh, wow. Look at those. Donut chocolate cake. Oh, there's so much choice, literally. I'd eat anything. It's busy on here now. I think a lot of people are coming for lunch. We were chatting with some of the people just and they were saying, yeah, it's way too hot for them out there and they live in Florida. Is that saying something? Well, I thought I'd just ask for a small slice because I'm going to try a few of these. Go for the Oreo cheesecake first. Oh, well, lunch was absolutely delicious. Went back and had a chocolate fudge cake as well because I thought, you know what? Why not? It's free. We've only got a couple more days of freebies. We've got to make the most of it. What a brilliant view that is over there. It's lovely, that isn't is it? absolutely stunning. Like, look at the colour of the water. Oh, gorgeous. It really is. I've never seen water so clear as oh, they have on this lovely. trip. We've been keeping an eye out to see if we see any fish or turtles again. Well, I'm sure there's loads of big fish in there, but yeah, yeah some turtles would be lovely to see, or dolphins. I did oh, see right. a dolphin the other day. I didn't have the camera with me. Yeah, I imagine like seeing a, a killer whale or something that in there. Like, oh, incredible. Oh, we've had a lovely relaxing afternoon in our stateroom and also on the ship, making the most of the air conditioning. Had another sleep. Oh, why not though? Relaxing. Exactly, I feel nice and refreshed. Well, Grand Tour it was wonderful, but it was so hot there. Would have liked to have spent more time on the beach and gone in that pool, but yeah, it was just baking hot. We departed about 45 minutes ago. There's the other ship just over there that was parked up next to us by the looks of it. And yeah, on our way now. Of course, back to where we all started, Port Canaveral. But we're not going to be there tomorrow. It's not until the morning after we arrive. Sea day tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to go on this high ropes course for the sea day. Uh, we're going to do the mini golf. And yeah, check out some of the other things here on board the ship. Have more time in the pools as well. Of course, we've got another awesome night of entertainment coming up. We've got like a Las Vegas show tonight. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Let's see what it's like. We've got some live comedy tonight as well. Yeah, so that'll be quite good. Um, I think we're going to go in the hot tub later on outside. That'll be really nice. Yeah, soothe us later on when the sun goes in. But yeah, now we're back out and see there's a bit of breeze and it's quite nice again. But yeah, it was so hot earlier. It was unbearable. We've been on the ship for five days now. We're still finding areas that we haven't really seen before. 
places to sit down and just relax. Yeah, it's absolutely massive. There's so many places to explore on board the ship, which is fantastic. Yeah, looking forward to getting in the pools later on. Wait for that sun to go in. We'll have a bit of an evening pool session. So we've got a nice little gap in the entertainment for us anyway uh, this evening. And of course, there's stuff going on all the time, but in terms of what we want to see, there's a nice gap for us after um, that we've watched the Vegas, Vegas show. show. We've got a gap. There we go, that's where we've been, Grand Turk just over there. Oh, well, there we go. We've been having a nice relax in the state room, haven't we? We have had another sleep. <laughs> you look lovely. Thank you. Oh, really nice and tropical tonight. I just wanted to give you a bit of an update. Of course, on where we are, I've not actually shown you this yet on the TV, but yeah, this is like the map channel and it tells you where you are and gives you updates. Now, we have been rocking quite a bit. Of course, Hurricane Lee uh, is going on at the moment, which is somewhere like up here. It's about 450 miles away, the captain said from us, but that's why we have been rocking um, quite a bit. Normally, they say you don't rock this much, yeah, of course, we started up here at Canaveral, came down to Nassau, then down to Amber Cove. We've been at Grand Turk, and then, yeah, we're starting to make our way back up this way now. So, yeah, I do kind of like looking on here and following it. Like you can see down here, we did this kind of move around from Amber Cove last night up to uh, Grand Turk. But, yeah, we're going to go and get some more food now. And then shortly, it's going to be the Vegas show. So, yeah, we're excited for that. And then after that, we're coming back, we're going to get our swim gear on. And go for a swim, aren't oh, we? Oh, that sounds lovely. Getting that hot tub outside. Oh, that would be really nice. What I find is a lot of people, because they get dressed for dinner, like they don't, they don't go, go back in the pools after, so it's a good time. There's a live ship cam there for you out the front. Fantastic. I am such a happy girl right now. We've got Jack and Potatoes tonight. Hey, Love you got three that. there. I know, I'm so hungry. Yeah, why not? Oh, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> yes. I'm going to have a pizza tonight. I was going to head down to the pizza place. Which is just downstairs, this a little bit is later. fantastic. Look at that, bait perfection. <laughs> oh, I am so excited for these. I always like the music that they have playing in here as well. There we go. Look oh, at this. Wow. So that's our lovely meal. We've made our way up here onto deck 18, the adults only area. Serenity. Do you love it up here? And yeah, we're going in this hot tub a little bit later after the Vegas show. Sun's going down. Look at that. Very nice. What a beautiful shot. No filters needed. And yeah, you can see the other carnival ship just over there as well. And yeah, we're chatting with the guy just, he reckons because of Hurricane Lee and the rough of the usual conditions, that's why they're keeping the ships pretty close to each other, just over here. That's a good thing though, with this going on our first cruise ever and it being a little bit rocky, it's prepared us for the next one, hasn't it? We're not, it's not affected us too bad, has it? No, it hasn't. <laughs> it feels a bit windy tonight. My dress is blowing everywhere. Oh, no, you stay seated just over there. Remain seated. Yeah, Serenity, very quiet up here. That's like an exclusive area at the top that you can uh, hire out just at the top there called Loft 19. Lovely and peaceful up here. Yeah, look at that, sun going down. I really like this part of the ship and during our full sea day tomorrow we'll spend quite a lot of time around here up on the top deck. There is literally no one up here and this is open for another couple of hours. Look at the pool water. <laughs> Moving just over there. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Look at this. This is where we're going to be after Vegas. Yeah, I think this is open until 9 o'clock around here and we've got the hot tub as well which I think is open until 10. It looks like this is where everyone comes to watch the sunset. Oh, wow. Oh, it's really nice and relaxing around here. Sun goes down. Oh, that is a beautiful shot. There it goes. Sun starts to set on our cruise. One more day left. Oh, we made our way now back down to deck six, heading for centre stage. And it's Las Vegas night. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, hey, you're going to go and see what the uh, entertainment's like for us this evening. And then we're going up to the hot tub. Oh, yeah. oh I love it here in this venue. Vegas nice. We've got a nice cocktail as well. Oh, I've got a sex on the beach, my favourite cocktail. Lovely, right? Let's watch the show. What better way to start the night than with a man? Tonight, look. 
Playing a show just there. I thought the live band was fantastic and lots of brilliant songs that we could all sing along to as well. Oh, the singing was absolutely fantastic in there. I just wish it was a little bit longer. Yeah, it was only 25 minutes that show. I wasn't ready for it to end. I wanted a bit more, but it was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, I thought the band was fantastic. I mean, it's a beautiful venue in there. All the shows we've seen on the centre stage have been fantastic. And uh, yeah, we've got one more to see in there tomorrow night on our final vlog. Oh, oh, like... I can't believe it's nearly the end. Oh, well, we're going for a bit of a swim now. We thought we've got some other entertainment on tonight, but uh, we thought let's go and have a swim because yeah, we really wanted to go and have an evening uh, swim up on the top deck. So we're going to go and do that now. We'll take you along, and then also we've got a bit of an 80s party up on the Lido Ooh. deck, so we'll get a bit of footage of that, and then we're going to an over 18s comedy night, which I probably won't get any footage of because I think it's going to be quite yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it might be a bit inappropriate to put in a video, but uh, yeah, we're going to that tonight as well. Bit of live comedy, but we'll switch over to the GoPro. Let's go up to the top. Let's go. Oh, look at how much the ship's rocking now. That pool up there at the top is overflowing down here at the sides. Oh, look at that. And you know what? We've got all this to ourselves. Is it nice today? I bet it's cooler than it was earlier. Oh, oh, that is nice, that is. I don't know how deep it is in this one, not being in it, yeah? We're about to find out. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, that's lovely, that is. <laughs> I can't believe the water in that top one. Going side to side. Oh, this is nice. Is it the same depth or is it getting deeper? I can't tell. Oh, it's a little bit deeper down here. Hey! <laughs> In the middle of the ocean. Oh, this is lovely. This is nice. The lifeguard's on just for us over there. <laughs> Not very often you get a pull to yourself though, is it? Especially on a cruise ship. Oh! I'm getting sprayed! What was it? That she's getting sprayed up there! <laughs> just, I got sprayed up there then! <laughs> oh, how funny was that? It's pressure washing up there! I thought it was raining then! Like, yeah. oh, how's the burns? Are you alright? Oh, really oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> That shows how much you're moving. I'm holding on to this rail. You, you got to think the pools are designed for this though. Like that's why they have them a lot higher at the side just there. Uh, yeah, look at that one up there right on the top. Like so that's up in like the spa area. You can pay extra to go up there. I'm yeah. holding on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is good. Can't believe that then. I thought a storm was coming in. Right, I'm going <laughs> to... Look at that rocking up there. Oh God. This is lovely. It's a great temperature. We've got the hot tubs around the corner as well. No one's in here. I think people have gone to bed. That's what I was saying before I got sprayed. But we thought that, oh, there's not many people about for the Vegas show. I think a lot of people are feeling a bit seasick tonight, but we're okay, actually. We're feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy. This is lush in here now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, the waves are coming. You think there was like a wave machine in here, but it's not, literally. When we're not rocking, this is like really still in here. <laughs> oh, we had a really nice time there in that pool for about half an hour or so. Oh, this is lovely in here. And we're just in some hot tub now. Beautiful, this is. I mean, there's only three of us in here as well, which is good. Oh, really good. Fantastic, loads of room. Oh, it's so nice. Beautiful. I don't feel like we're swaying as much now, do you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, this is lush. That's why I said, let's go in that pool first and then come in here. This is so nice. Oh, makes you miss having the hot tub at home, this does. Beautiful in the serenity area. Yeah, having that pools by south around there was lush just, and that was warm, but now this is like, oh, so nice. gorgeous. We're gonna chill in here for a little bit now. Oh, oh that was lovely. Spent about half an hour in the hot tub and continuing on with our little pools tour tonight. We're going to the main Lido pool just down here now. There's also a hot tub next to this one as well. We've got a movie to enjoy. Of course, we've come out of the adult only area now, so it's a bit busier around here look at the mood lighting very nice we've got an 80s deck party up here shortly as well hey and here we go into the pool i thought this wouldn't be that deep actually with it being the main family pool well that's pretty deep <laughs> you enjoy the late night movie red fried tiki bar over there yeah this is just as deep as the other one which i'm surprised about yeah man, I'm on my tiptoes. <laughs> yeah. Oh this is lovely. Yeah there is a hot tub over there as well which is nice. 
What I like too is how they've actually got clocks up by the pools as well, which is good. Oh, you see the clock just over there. Watch a nice movie. What's interesting is there's a movie on starting at midnight again tonight. John Wick's on. Think about it, it's like 2 a.m. just watching a movie under the stars. I love Cruise Live. We'll definitely be booking another one. Stay tuned for more cruise vlogs coming up. <laughs> Lovely. Really nice. Again, you've got like the big side, so when it's hot, you just kind of lay on the sides over here as well, which is good. Rush. Really nice. And yeah, there's also like a little seating area over in the corner on this one as well. You can see just over there. Of course, your hot tub at the back. Lovely. Oh, I'm going to get splashed. <laughs> Temperature's lush out here now as well. Really nice. Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, it's a funny little idea then. Yeah, you can just sit over here and just have your drinks and just let your feet dip in the water. Yeah, there's like seats all the way around here. Hot tub just over there too. Same sort of size, I believe, as the one around there. Loads of hot tubs on this ship. So obviously you got this one here, the one at the top where we were. There's another couple down by the Pig and Anchor and then another two out at the front of the ship. Fantastic. Oh, I'm five minutes later from actually being there to watching it here on the TV. I tell you what, I enjoyed our little pool session there, did oh, you? Oh, that was absolutely lovely, that was. I really enjoyed it. Especially the serenity pool and the oh, hot tub. That hot tub was so nice. Yeah, there's only a few of us in there as well. It's like, done my sunburn good. Oh, yeah, that was amazing, that. Was so nice. I tell you what, Charlotte, you get ready so fast I know, as well. I got back ready in five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to add in a little bit of entertainment, aren't yeah, we Yeah, we're going to the Love and Marriage Show, hosted by Jackie. And there, who's the cruise director. Yeah, he is. And then we're going to head up to the top deck again to go and have a little bit to look at the 80s party. Yeah, like a UV party. Yeah, and then we're going, of course, to watch the comedy shows. Yeah, that's going to be fantastic. We've got lots coming up. I ask y'all to describe your love life with you and your partner. Is it A, Iron Man? B, Saturday Night Fever? Is it C, Gone in 60 Seconds? Or is it D, Failure to Launch? Right over here, what do you say it is? Iron Man. You said... Iron Man. It's the correct answer. Woo! You said. B. Saturday Night Fever. You said. Saturday Night Fever. Woo! It's the correct answer. Right over here. You said. Iron Man. Iron Man. You said. Saturday Night Fever. Oh. Incorrect, I'm afraid. What do we say, audience? <laughs> Next question. I asked you, ladies. What is the first thing <laughs> your man likes to touch in the morning? Oh, well, we just watched the hilarious Love and Mary show. It was so funny. I'm glad we went to watch it. I only put in a little bit of footage for you. It was in there like an hour. It was hilarious. And yeah, we're up here now on the top deck. We're at the 80s party. Who's ready for an 80s rock and roll party? Make some noise right now. Come on, y'all. He works so hard, he is yeah, everywhere. Well, welcome here to our Lino Deck Party 80s party. I need to know if y'all are here for a good time. Let me hear you make some noise. Woo! But here's the thing, this is one of the greatest parties out there. This is the 80s. But in order for us to do this, I need to know where the real party people are at. So what I want you to do is, we are gonna split the entire room into two. We got this side right over here, and we got this side right over here. On this team, we got team young and sexy. Make some noise. I need y'all to separate yourselves. Y'all better represent yourselves right now. Y'all got sexy on this side. We got Team Rich and Famous over there as well. Yeah. So we will, we will rock you. Here we go, come on. We will, we will rock you. Woo! We've had so much of Charlotte dancing this week. Oh, amazing. 
Once again back here in our stateroom after another action-packed day here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. It's been wonderful, hasn't it? Every day has just been such an amazing day. We've loved it. Yeah, I mean, apart from being baking hot earlier on, I mean, we got to see Grand Turk. I mean, I saw a little bit more than I you know, did. but at least I managed to get offshore to see it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was beautiful there. I'd love to have spent more time just in that pool or on the beach or in the sea, but yeah, we were so burnt. Luckily, we made up for that tonight, though, uh, having loads of time in the hot tub and the pools here on the ship. Oh, the pools were absolutely brilliant and we had that whole one to ourselves yeah that was nice i love that serenity area like away from all the kids and it's just really relaxing down there fantastic uh, along with that we've seen some other fantastic entertainment the vegas show was really good i enjoyed the 80s party we went to the comedy club uh, which of course just want to get in american humor is very different to british humor so i didn't really know how we we're going to find it but there were still some pretty good jokes in there some we didn't understand um but also some that we did um, but yeah, i didn't film any of that of course it was 18 plus um it was quite full on uh one of my favorite pieces that we've seen today was that uh, kind of love, love and marriage, marriage show. show that was so funny i absolutely loved that yeah again yeah, I didn't really get much footage because only showing you a couple of bits it wouldn't have really made sense but it was like a bit of a Mr and Mrs style so show funny. yeah it was great and a big shout out to Jackie again the cruise oh, director he's so good he is everywhere literally he was straight from that to doing the disco he upstairs so like he worked so hard all the people do on this cruise ship and I'm actually really sad that we've only got one more day left on here oh, I really man. am it's been one of the best trips I've ever done this has uh, and yeah and just coming on here to experience it really has been amazing we've got one more vlog coming up it's day number six it's a day at sea Ooh. and uh, yeah we're going to be doing the golf tomorrow we've got the high ropes that we can take you on with the gopro along with that more entertainment and so uh, yeah just capture more of the vibe on the ship and we've got bingo tomorrow yeah we're gonna have a go at the bingo a uh, five grand prize I know, five thousand dollars to win tomorrow yeah. so we're gonna have a go at that oh fantastic but uh, there we go thank you very much for watching and, and have, have your, your own adventures. adventures we'll see you in the final part